the film that got my career going was Peach, which was about my grandmother. And um, I made that as my master's thesis film. I'd, I'd stay over your house, and we'd stay up late, and we'd watch them on the late show. And uh, <laughs> at midnight, you used to cook us each a steak. And you let me drink wine. And, and you tell me naughty stories, so I wouldn't get too scared. When I sent it to Universal for them to look at, the, they sent it up to the tower, to the people who said, this director's interesting, and they hired me to start directing TV. So I began directing Marcus Welby as my first project. And the show had been on for maybe five or six years. When I walked on the set the week before I started, I went up to Robert Young and said, hi, I'm directing the next show. And he looked at me, he looked around at the crew like, is this some sort of joke? Because I was like 27 and looked very much younger. And, um, and they said, no, no, this is really the director of the next show. Randall Kleiser, I took a chance on. He'd never directed a feature, but he'd directed John in uh, Boy on a Plastic Bubble. I had a great rapport with Randall already, so I trusted him. So then I just had to trust that he could make a movie musical, and the, and the thing that Randall did, I felt that was key, and as he let us lead the way a lot. Tell me about it, Stop. This was my first feature film, Grease. I had never worked in Panavision. It was very exciting, because I'd only worked in that little box format of television. I got chills, they're multiplying. And I'm losing the trouble, cause the power you're supplying. And uh, it was the budget was six million dollars, which was more than I had done before. You better shape up, cause I need a man. My heart is set on you. You better shape up, you better understand. To my heart, I must be true. My hut, I built it. That's not true, I helped you. I did most of it. You can go find some other place to live. I said I was sorry, Richard. What more do you want me to say? I don't want you to say anything. I don't ever want to see you again. I had always wanted to be a, a film director, and now I was. So it, it was uh, just a matter then of trying to get better scripts. Trace O'Roney, the San Francisco tree. Ah, don't get too close to those cables. Ah! Be more careful on a precise machine. Relax, Max. This is Randall Kleiser, the writer-director of It's My Party, and I'm recording this in December of 2002, exactly 10 years after the events upon which it was based. In 1992, in December, Harry Stein had a party that lasted for two days where he said goodbye to all his friends, and then at the end, uh, 
left the planet. I can't get over how brave you are. Well, what's the choice, Brandon? I mean, <laughs> it ain't going away. What I like to do is direct movies that I'd like to see. And um, because you have to spend so many hours and days and years even, I, I just want to do things that interest me. Hey, have you got the end of the movie? Got the end of the movie. Cool. Yeah. yeah.